Hello viewers, welcome back again. This is Elimu TV, where you get to watch and learn. Welcome to our history class, and your teacher is Rojab Michira, ready to take you through early agriculture. And in today's class, we're getting to early agriculture in Mesopotamia, and also we get to look at what are some of the impacts of early agriculture, what are some of the, those impacts that early agriculture bring to Mesopotamia. And also, before we get to today's topic, I want us to... I have a recap of what we did last lesson. We did say that we had the indigenous crops that were grown in Mesopotamia, and we gave examples. For example, Bali, we said wheat, we had cucumbers, we had onions, and many other of those crops. And also, we did look at what are some of the reasons that uh, facilitated for the development of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. We did talk of fertile soils. We talked of uh, indigenous crops and also there was adequate rainfall during the seasons. And now today's class, class, we are getting to impact of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. Now, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that learners will be able to explain the impact of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. Now, having your books and pens, can we now get ready for class? the impact of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. Now one, what is one of the impact is that it enabled people to settle down and concentrate on farming. This led to increased population. Good. Now what does that mean? Remember there was enough food, right? Now people had no reason to move from one place to another looking for food, right? Now they had to settle down and they concentrated on farming. This led to increased population. Now you might ask yourself, them settling down, right, concentrating on farming, how did it increase population? That is how it was, right? Remember, when there is enough food, people, people procreate, right? That, that, that is what it simply means, right? So people had to, when there was enough food, people had to procreate, and that in turn increased population. Well, what was another impact? Agriculture production led to the development of trade between communities. Now that there was enough food, right? There was enough food for consumption. Till there was enough, there was another, there, there was enough food also for, for selling, for or for trading. That is how trading centers began, right? Let's get get to our next impact. City states emerged. For example, we have get Or, Uruk, and Babylon. Yes, Babylon is, is one of another, another city that is well known. Yes. Look at that. That is Babylon city, right? That's Babylon city, very, very, very known city, right? Then you also had Ur, right? For, the, from, for, 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 the, from those people who understand the Bible, they know, they, they know what Ur was, right? They know Ur was, the, 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 the city. And also apart from the cities, right? Also, there was a specialization in craft activities. People specialized in these activities. For example, the issue of making pots, right? The issue of uh, making baskets, right? For example, look at that. Yes, there is that uh, person molding uh, some pots, I can see. If you can clearly get to see that image, we have got that person molding pots there, right? Some cups, some plates, I guess, also. Good. That's what you call specialization in craft activities. Craft is that when you use your hands to model things. Eh? Good. Look at that. Look at that, uh, that lady, right? She's now also making some mats, right? She's making some mats, some clothes. That is how, that, 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 that is how, 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 how it started, right? Now, people were specialized in those craft activities. In addition to that, Agriculture influenced writing and arithmetic. For instance, talk of the hieroglyphics, right? And the cuneiform. You might be surprised what are these hieroglyphics, right? Those are them. Those are the hieroglyphics. What of the cuneiform, right? Right? You can get to see the images. You can get to see the images there. Now, agriculture influenced writing and arithmetic. People were able now to count, right? People were able to write, people were able to read, right? That was an impact of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. And also, another development that emerged in the invention of the wheel is the invention of the wheel. And we, the wheel can be dated back to early agriculture, 
both in Mesopotamia and Egypt. But again, we'll get to Egypt. Now, in Mesopotamia, the wheel was used in carts to transport farm produce. You know what carts are, right? You know what carts are? Here in our, in, 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 in our, in our local language, we call it mkokoteni, right? The street language. We call it mkokoteni, right? It's very, it's, it's very, it's, it's well known in the streets for carrying goods, right? And also in Mesopotamia, the wheel, they use the wheel to make the mkokoteni or the cuts. Look at that. That's the wheel. Now that's the mkokoteni I was telling you. Yes? We don't call it a mkokoteni, but that is a street word. That is a, uh, that's a street word of the mkokoteni, right? So it is a cut. The English word of mkokoteni is a cut. But in the street name is all known to a mkokoteni. Now you look at that. It is used to transport goods. Right, so in in that case in Mesopotamia, the wheel was used to make cuts and also to transport farm produce. Not forgetting that the wheel, the, 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 the another another impact was that it was there was the invention of the ox plow. It simply consisted of a tree trunk with two branches, one protrude, uh, protruding up and the other downward, and it was pulled by an ox. Look at that, that's the ox plow, right? That. Uh, that, 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 that thing that the, the farmers used to dig, right? That is it. You can, you can see that. We call it an ox plow. Good. Look at now it's being pulled by, by, two, by two oxen there. And also to, uh, the other man is pushing the, uh, the, the ox plow. Good. That is it. Now, those are some of the impacts of early agriculture in Mesopotamia. Now, our class... Can we get to name two cities, uh, two cities that emerged as a result of early agriculture in Mesopotamia? And for our reference, let us get to Evolving World, History and Government, Book 1, Oxford University Press. Class, again reminding you, we have got very many lessons online. Kindly get to watch Elimu TV via YouTube, Elimu TV, and also get in touch with us via contact address, the SMS line, YouTube, YouTube uh, page, and also our Facebook account. Elimu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn.